whole bunch of turtles together like this here in Hawaii, right? A whole bunch of turtles. <laughs> anyway, what we're looking at here is uh, the green sea turtle species from Colonial Plagas, also known as Old Hawaiian dialect. The English name for these guys, green sea turtle, doesn't come so much from the way that they look on the outside. Obviously, they don't have any green to them on the outside, but they are green on the inside. These guys are primarily seaweed and algae eaters and consume so much of that herbivorous material over the course of their lifetime, their flesh actually turns green. More specifically, the fat within their muscle tissue changes to a green color. Now this is why we're giving them a combination of romaine lettuce and cucumber today, because believe it or not, this stuff has roughly the same cellular structure and nutritional value found in seaweeds and algae. What does that mean? It means you can take a handful of turtle seaweed, population program we have going on in conjunction with Sea Life Park on the island of Oahu. I need a show of hands. Who here saw that movie 50 First Dates? Raise your hands if you did. Excellent. The rest of you aren't missing anything. For those of us who did see that movie, you remember that park that Adam Sandler was working at in that film? It's a real life sea park. That's where these guys were born. Our job here at the Ocean Center is to raise these turtles till they reach a large addressing them by those names until we release them to the wild. We uh, use a specially designed high-tech waterproof paint to paint the letters on their shells called Whiteout, and it will last for about five months. Now folks, the whole reason I brought this up is because uh, back in, uh, I believe it was uh, August of last year, we did release six sea turtles to South Maui. They were about two years of age and 50 pounds in weight on the date of their release. However, last year, because of a cut in funding, we were not allotted the satellite transmitters that we usually get. So folks, we need your help. If you're out there snorkeling or swimming, and if you should come across a sea turtle that has visible white lettering to their shell, the letter M on one side and the letters A, B, C, D, E, or F on the other side, all those turtles that you see there belong to us. Can you please give us a call, let us know where you saw that sea turtle so we can mark it off on our tracking map. Everybody's been helping out with this, but the more eyes we have out there, the better this program works. Now folks, if you're lucky enough to see a sea turtle when you're out there snorkeling, and they're becoming a very common sight indeed, it is advised that you may come up 10 to 15 foot distance from the turtle at all times. The reason is, even though their populations have made a comeback, they are still protected by federal law in the United States. As such, it's illegal to harass sea turtles in the wild. Doing so can lend you some very heavy fines, even jail time, depending on the severity of the offense. But uh, the real reason this law exists is not so much for the safety of the turtle, it's for your own safety. Cute and innocent as these turtles may look, as our signs of fear indicate, they can give a very nasty bite. These youngsters here already have enough bite pressure behind their beaks to take your fingers right off your hand. Adults out in the wild have been known to lob hands off at the wrist. So they can use their feet as a weapon in a pinch, but that's not their main weapon. The main weapon of any sea turtle out there in the wild is, in fact, its flippers. Now, these guys, their flippers may not look like much, enough force behind that flipper that if you were to be whacked with the open side, there's enough force there to rip your skin open on contact. Shot with the edge of that flipper, that breaks bone. Recently, we had a case of that happen in South Maui. A tourist diver was attempting to ride a sea turtle out there. The turtle was obviously not happy about this. Turned around, chopped them 
square in the face with his flipper, cracking the guy's face mask in half, breaking his nose, knocking out a few of his teeth, and fracturing his jaw. Of course, when they hit you with a flipper like that, they're actually trying to get you with the claw that's sticking out of the edge of their flipper. And if you look very carefully at them, you're going to notice a small white conical spike sticking out of the front portion of the pectoral fin. Now, it's kind of like the turtle's thumb, normally used by the males to hook onto the shells of females during mating, and used by females like a spade to dig a nest. They're also very
an air-breathing animal, they are more than capable of coming ashore. Now, for that reason, you do see them up on the beaches across the way from us down there every now and again. In fact, the entire stretch of beach from South Maui all the way up here to Ma'alaya Harbor is all designated turtle nesting ground. That is why, if you take the road from Maui Ocean Center down to South Kihei, you'll notice the road along the shoreline is blocked off by a black plastic fence. It's not to keep you off the beach. There is beach access there, but it keeps some other turtles from crossing the road and getting hit by cars.